I don't even know how to start a video like this because when I went into 2020, I was seeing movies in theaters. Then I suddenly wasn't. Then I was watching movies at home. And I grew to appreciate the value of watching movies at home, but I still was optimistic that things would get better and they're just not going to get better. Like, I mean, not the situation going on in the world. That's going to get better. The situation with the virus, that's going to get better. But the situation with movie theaters isn't. Uh, Regal, shut down. They ain't ever opening back up. Uh, AMC, stocks dropping 15%. There were theater chains saying after this HBO Max news that they're going to up ticket prices. Because if they're going to show both these movies, uh, both in theaters on streaming, they need to make more money through the ticket sale. And so they're, the only way to do that is up it. And and there's no going back from this. Um, I'm scared. Uh, for theaters, but I'm also like they're they're gone, they're dead. And maybe in some ways it's a good thing because I look at movies like Dune. Now, Dune, I was hyped for. I really wanted to see this movie. Um, I, I wanted to see it for cinematography, effects, all that. It's kind of weird watching a movie like that at home. It probably won't be the same experience as watching it in the theater, but I... I, I, um, I didn't think it was going to be a hit in the theater. And maybe this movie will be a bigger hit on HBO Max. Now that it's going there. Tom and Jerry. That movie was probably going to flop. Not do that well. And it was probably not going to be that good of a movie. So instead of having to sit and watch it in a the theater. I can watch it at home. A lot of. And also movies like that. That aren't the greatest. You watch five minutes of it. And you can decide whether you want to continue watching it. At a theater. You have to pay money, you have to sit down, and you can't do that. So these are things that are pluses to watching movies at home. But, um, as my grandpa put it best, we were talking about it. He said, you know, this isn't going to replace theaters. It can't because theaters are about the experience. You know, I don't, it isn't about, oh, I'm going to see the best quality movie. It's about you know, going with your family, with your friends, enjoying the experience. Maybe you get like a cool popcorn bucket. You get popcorn, you get a snack, you get a drink, you get out of the house, you do something. It's it's kind of a memory, right? I remember my experiences more with going to the theater more than I remember all the movies that I saw. I remember, um, I, I remember all those times I went every Tuesday, $5 discount movie day. I saw movies. They weren't the greatest movies. Most of them I didn't like, but it was just that great thing about it. I when I went, even when I went to the theater, I would sit there and some movies I went in knowing they were bad. But I remember my excitement uh, because every time I saw a movie in a theater, it was excitement. There was a kind of like joy. Hey, I'm doing something, and now to say get out of here, you know. And I think a lot of people don't go to theaters anymore. And while I get there are a lot of good reasons, a lot of it is just laziness. A lot of it is just people don't want to go to the theater because, well, it's just easier to watch a movie at home, which is bogus. Um, if you want to watch good movies, you support them. That's how they get made. Um, if you're mad that there's only sequels and remakes being made, well, guess what? You were only seeing. Disney remakes, billion dollar movies. All those Avengers movies, billion dollar movies. It was all sequels and remakes, and that's all that was being sold. And people were getting sick of it, but they didn't they didn't strive to make the change that they wanted to change, so they killed the theater industry because it's easier to stream a movie on Netflix. And I get it. There's convenience. And I look, if it means more people will watch the movie, cool. I'm okay with movies being on streaming. But there's also just a part of me that's like the experience 
of it is dead now and a lot of it is just we're too lazy to go to the theater and it, uh, some of areas there isn't many theaters and there isn't a lot of um and there isn't a lot of um movies that are showing anymore because they're all limited screenings because again if you're not a big franchise movie or a big blockbuster or a disney movie screw you ta ta you're out of here but i think there will always be a place for movies film festivals uh in recent years have become bigger things um there's been a lot more that have come into prevalence there's been uh more indie movies being made through netflix so there is a kind of um you know there's still stuff out there ways to view this stuff in theaters there's good movies indie movies being made uh there's more good movies being made than ever before and a lot of people disagree with me on that but you but it's true you just have to look for it. i mean you know you may go to the theater and not see the best movies and that's another reason why people stop seeing movies in the theater but that's because all the good movies are going to Netflix. You got all these indie movies. You know, Mark Gristezzi, one of the most famous directors of all time, one of the most influential directors of all time. His movies are going to Netflix now. We got uh, really high talents like Adam Sandler working with Netflix, making things like Uncut Gems and different stuff. We got all kinds of different things happening. We got movements and changes, and it's a great thing to see. It's just, it's just sad to see that experience, though. And I, I probably will get HBO Max. I probably will support all these movies. I'll probably review them all for the channel. But there's just something inside of me that kind of just died. Like, it went... <gasps> oh! and, it, and it just, it didn't revive. It didn't wake up. It's gone. And... I just, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's, it's gone. And I'm really sad to hear it because, you know, something beautiful. Um, these beautiful things I remember, these memories will always be there. You know, I'll, even, I'll remember my bad memories going to the theater. I'll remember my good ones. But it's just sad that I have to go put it in a box and put it away. And to pull it out when I feel like remembering. Instead of it being a constant thing that's always there. Um, it's just sad. And I knew this day was coming. This is a thing that was going on for many years. I just didn't think it would literally happen at the start of the decade. I didn't think it would be this quick of a jump and move. I thought things would get better. But it, it seems like in some ways people aren't striving to make things better as quick as possible. In some ways... People are also just, you know, they're getting more and more worried about things and other stuff. And I'm just I'm confused. I'm conflicted. And in some ways, I just don't know. But if it means that we don't have to pay $30 for a Disney movie, thank you. <laughs> so, wow.